Hello, Leo. This is your reading for mid-May 2019. I'm hoping it'll stay in focus. But this is for Leo, mid-May 2019. Five card spread. Focus that in. I'm hoping for a positive reading, but if not, we will work it out. We will work through it. Remember, this may not resonate with all Leos. But, you know, I try to reach the masses, and I do shuffle these prior and concentrate on your sign or meditate on your sign. But the incoming energy is the chariot. Let's see if we can get focus that in. The chariot in the upright. Things moving forward. Things moving quickly. Um, in a rush. And you have control over it. Now, in the past, you stopped hanging around. You stopped waiting for something. You stopped suffering over something. You know, mentally waiting. The hangman, in reverse, has a lot to do with someone who had been waiting and suffering in silence, in a way, waiting for something um, in, a, in almost a torturous way, you know? Something that maybe never came about, but you're tired of waiting. That's the whole concept. And remember, I will clarify these, and it may change the story up. Come on. He's a focused. Now, the obstacle is a new beginnings with a, the full card in the upright. You're wanting a new beginning. Maybe you're getting impatient because the chariot's there. It starts out that you're actually doing something current environment you're not willing to fight or argue with anybody anymore you're tired of it you're not going to even battle with anybody you're just going to do what you're wanting to do you're tired of waiting around you're not willing to fight and you're you're wanting this new fresh start that you're you're attempting to do but for some reason you're having trouble doing it and we will clarify that outside influences is the eight of pentacles this is hard work this is work coming in, outside influences. What is, you're wanting to start something that has to do with work possibly, or working on something that needs a lot of energy. That's the outside influence. In the end, you feel like things aren't coming in fast enough. They are going to come in, but you just feel like they're not fast enough. And that's where that chariot comes in. Now let's clarify these and find out what the story is. This just gives us the first uh, part of the energy. <clears throat> now remember, I do shuffle these prior. And the reason why I got this camera is because my other one was overheating. So I got to learn this one. So bear with me. I'll get it right. I must have went through three cameras since I started this about last year. But in the past, the hangman, in reverse, you're tired of waiting around. Like I said, no more stagnation. No more uh, waiting around for something, someone, or, you know, situations. No more. The hangman, in reverse. Why are you there for Leo? Maybe not, not waiting around for this knight. This Knight of Swords, this Knight of Swords can be an air sign. It could be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, but it doesn't have to be. It could be just someone who is uh, communicative in, in their thoughts and actions and words. Sometimes it's like a business type person, but it can be a person, a knight, an actual person. It could be male or female. It doesn't have to be male. But you're no longer waiting around for this person with this type of energy. So the hangman in reverse, the knight of swords in the upright. Why are you there in the past for Leo? In completion. Yeah, something completed. <clears throat> You're done with something from the past. Because that's the completion card, the four of wands. It's also, you know, kind of like a happy home type thing. But maybe you're no longer waiting for this, this person to come home. Or something, like I say, completed. Now, the obstacle is a fresh new beginning. You had the chariot there, so you're willing to take off and to do something new. The problem is you may not know what to do yet, or you're, you're, it's not coming in fast enough for you. That's what it appears to me. So the full card in the upright, why are you there, as the obstacle for Leo. This is mid-May, remember. Yeah, you... you <laughs> 
you have lack of desire. It's, I can't really say desire. It's a lust card in reverse. It's like, it's in a way, it's like you don't know what you want 100% for sure. You don't know what to expect. You don't know how to go about it, if that makes sense. So the Fool card in the upright. <clears throat> and a Lust card in reverse while you're there. It also could be that... Uh, yeah, you're no longer you no longer wanting to hold back or take a break with the four of swords in reverse. But the full card, let me get back to that. Another obstacle it could be that something new that you start in may have like a little bit of roadblocks here and there. You may uh, find like some um, glitches somewhere for some of you. But for a lot of you, you're having trouble with this new start, and you're no longer wanting to take a break. But you're having to, the troubles to get motivated, maybe somewhat. <clears throat> now the current environment you got the uh, five of swords in reverse and that's what you want it in reverse you want the five of swords in reverse it's about no longer feeling defeated no longer wanting to battle with people no longer wanting to argue you're not going to um, struggle like you did so the five of swords in reverse why are you there for Leo and the two want to come out and we we'll let it yeah you're you're not going to fight this anymore. You're, you felt uh, worried before. You felt left out. You felt abandoned. You felt like someone took advantage of you. But no longer are you going to let these things happen because you're going for happiness with the Nine of Cups. That's what you're wanting. That's what you're desiring. And you're no longer going to stand for the defeat, of, defeat type stance that you've been taking on before or that has been given to you. <clears throat> now... The outside influences or what is coming towards you is some work. Eight of Pentacles. It could be that you need to work harder. It could be that work is coming towards you. It could be that work has everything to do with this. But it could be just that someone needs to work on something. Eight of Pentacles in the upright. Why are you there for Leo? Yeah, that's the Prince of Wands in reverse. That could be you. That could be you. It could be another Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Someone is feeling um, a little impatient, maybe some short-tempered in the situation. You know, they feel like it's it's not happening quick enough. And when, when the Prince of Wands gets in reverse, um, their tempers can flare up. Or they become impatient. Or they don't, um, and I'm feeling this for some of you. You don't dedicate yourself to something before you give up on it. You give up on it too easy with work. So the key to this is don't give up on things so easily. That uh, things that are worth having take time. Okay? So Eight of Pentacles in the upright. Prince of Wands in reverse. Why are you there? For Leo. Yeah. Yeah. So something is going to be closing out soon. And you're getting a whole new world, a whole new beginning in a work situation. Or doors will be opening up. But you must be patient. Do not be impatient. Okay, Leo? That's, that's the key here. Don't be impatient. Because you may give up on it and give up your ships that are coming in with the Three of Wands. And that's how you deal with Tarot. This is how you can um, you work with this uh type of energy, tarot energy. It tells you the things that you're able to work with. It's here to help us, not to hinder. So it's given us information. And with this information, you can do something with it. You can uh, go with the path you want to go on, or you can change the path to the direction you want to go. So use that chariot to go forward. But in the end here, if you, if you give up too easily, the ships won't come in with the Three of Wands. So don't give up too easily. Three of Wands, why are you there? As the final outcome. Let's see what's attached to that. Yeah, balance. You need to keep balance. Temperance. Keep control. Three of Wands. In reverse, temperance in the upright. Why are you there? Yeah, so you can break free. So you can break free. So I'm feeling this for a lot of you, not just a few of you now. That things are going to be moving forward with the chariot. Things are going to move very quickly if you want them to. You're going to have a little um, 
uncomfortable situation where you don't know what to do or how to go about it or whether you're going to run into roadblocks and and that may be holding you back a little maybe making you less motivated but don't give up the current environment is that you're not wanting to fight in a way this this in a way could be a hindrance to me because it's like you're not fighting for what you're wanting because you're feeling left out and abandoned but your goal is to be happy so stick to the goal stick to the chariot and these outside influences of work uh, let them pan out because one door is uh, shutting another one opens for you okay and be patient because I feel that is the message to be patient because if you're not patient and working hard to where you want to go those ships won't come in and you won't have balance and you will not be able to break free which is what we want you to do in the end is the hangman you're finding yourself hanging around again waiting for something to come in that you should be working towards no more hangman Go with this. In the past, go with what your past thoughts are. No more waiting around. No more taking a break. Go for what you're wanting. And don't let the um, hard work or whatever situation is coming that may make you a little less motivated mess you up or throw a curveball towards you. Go for that work that is coming in and wait for it. Be patient because the Prince of Wands in reverse is not being patient. So Leo, you got to be patient for the good things to come in. They are coming in. You just got to go for them and not give up. This is for Leos that have been given up before. That's what it is. And realize that a new door will open, but you got to go towards it and not give up so easily and go back to this mode. And don't get so defensive to, to the situations around you, the things that you can't control and come out of oppression with the uh, Ten of Wands in reverse, because hard work is where it's at. Okay, Eight of Pentacles again. And that is your reading, and I will upload this as soon as I can. It has taken forever to upload lately. You know, the recording is one thing. Uploading is a totally different thing. So I will be back again for June's reading before June. So if you want to stay tuned, what could occur during this work situation? Because that's what I'm going to try to tap into if the universe lets me. What happens when we actually go for what that open door is? Um, hit the subscribe and bell, and I'll talk to you later. I'll try uploading this soon, okay? Bye.